Hello and welcome to another video. This time we're going to be looking at converting a PS2 keyboard so that it works with our Aegon. You can imagine how excited I got when I saw this come up for free on Freegal. A PS2 keyboard with an adapter. However, when I went to collect it, unfortunately he'd lost the USB adapter. So here we are, we've got a keyboard but it's got the PS2 connector on it. Now we could just buy our own adapter. It would need to be a passive one, not an active one, for it to work with our Aegon, so that the signals just get passed straight through from one connector to the other. Or I could do my own thing and wire it up directly. The PS2 connectors are quite simple. There are four wires used, one for VCC, one for ground, and then there's data and clock. A standard USB cable also has just four wires. Again, there's power and ground, and there's D plus and D minus. And so, with a bit of research and feedback from guys on the Discord channel, we can see the correct way to make the connections. I had loads of spare USB cables lying around, so I picked a suitable size one to use for this project. I cut off the end I didn't need and stripped the wires back, ready to solder. After undoing loads of screws, I opened up the keyboard. Inside, we can see where the connections need to be made. They're even labelled for us with the correct colour codes for the PS2 wires. These were removed and our new USB cables were soldered into position. And so we have our final assembled keyboard with USB connector which sends PS2 protocol signals. And of course, vitally, test whether it works. Success! Time to play one of my favourite games, Lunar Lander.